Before I offer a few words to us, I'd like to welcome our Consul General of Greece, Socrates Vinos, and the Consul General of Cyprus, Nicholas Theophanos. We welcome both of you gentlemen. Thank you for being with us today. And I know that many of you will join us in the Fellowship Hall for our celebration of a Greek independence and uh, the Feast of the Annunciation. Our Greek school has planned a delicious luncheon and a wonderful program. But before we get to those things, I know that many of you brought icons. And I have an icon here that is of St. Joseph the Hesychist. He's one of the most recent saints of the Orthodox Church, just in the last year. He was elevated by the Patriarchate of Constantinople to be one of the saints of the church, like all of the saints on the walls of the church and all of the saints that you hold in your hands. St. Joseph was a monk of Marathos, had a very simple and humble beginning as a young boy, but in great prayer and in faith, he chose to go into the monastic life and lived many, many decades in Mount Athos and influenced many others to come to the faith and many to enter into the monastic life. Many of those monks remained in Greece. Some of them came to America, including Father Ephrem of the Monastery of St. Anthony in the desert. We are grateful for the life of St. Joseph the Hesychist. He takes this name because of his quietness, not just the, the silent presence he had in the monastery, but also through his prayers. There's a prayer that we offer, especially during Lent, but all the time, any day of the week, every hour. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon me, a sinner. And that prayer is something that as we get older, we should remind ourselves to say on a daily basis. And it will lead us, if we are diligent in our prayer, to a prayer of silence within the heart. It is there in the heart that the Lord will find rest. It is what St. John Climacus says. In the heart of the meek, the Lord will find rest. It is on the icon in the back on the left. And it is in the heart that the Lord finds not only his place, but also what we treasure, what we found to be the most important part of our life, what we gave all of our energy to, what we gave all of our dedication to, what we focused on. Today, Jesus in the gospel is presented a young man, Nathaniel, Nathaniel is looking for the fulfillment of the Old Testament Messiah. A friend of his also had been called by Jesus, Philip. And then Philip goes and finds Nathaniel, who knows that he has been searching for this. And he says, Nathaniel, I have found the one that Moses and the prophets spoke of, Jesus of Nazareth. And Nathaniel says, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Philip says, Those Three famous words, come and see. And that is what we as Orthodox Christians have responded to and what we are also asked to witness to, to our friends, our relatives, anyone that comes into our life, seeking God, looking for the quiet silence that St. Joseph found in his prayer for life. And we are asked to also give that invitation, come and see. One of the great saints of the church, Saint Theodore the Empress, who is the icon right behind the baptismal font, and she holds a cross. She was the one who was married to the emperor who was not a believer. The emperor had experienced a miracle because of her prayer, and she had placed on his chest an icon of the Panagia. He was at his deathbed, and miraculously, he was healed, and he came back to full health again. But he did not acknowledge either the prayers of his wife, Theodora, or the miracle that had taken place. He later became sick again 
and he died. She, through her son Michael, who was just a small boy, about eight years of age, becomes the Byzantine emperor. But he is too young to rule, and so she rules with him. And she is the one who calls that great council in 843 that proclaims orthodoxy and the icons to be part of the orthodox tradition and a very much a part of our daily life. It is through Saint Theodora, the Empress, and all of the saints that we gather this day to commemorate the greatness as the truth in Jesus Christ through the tradition of the Orthodox Church. May God bless and keep us strong and healthy as we continue in Great Lent. I thank you for bringing your icons. They're beautiful. Do you know what each of the icons is that you hold? Is it a patron saint? Is it an icon in your room that you brought with you? I want you to know about the icon that you're holding, okay? And if you don't, ask your teacher, ask your mom or dad. You can even ask Father Manoli. He will be able to tell you. May God bless and keep all of us strong. Mr. Servinos, Mr. Theophanos, we pray for you as you represent two great countries, Greece and Cyprus and the people there, they struggle like all of us, but they also proclaim the great message of the gospel in Jesus Christ our Lord and speak of the great freedom that God gives us, not only in granting us freedom to make choices in our daily life, freedom to rule ourselves and our countries as we wish, but freedom to turn away from temptation and sin and accept Jesus Christ. May those be the words that guide us in our daily life. Amen. Andidurun. Andidurun. Blessed the Lord be with you. God bless you. Thank you for being good health to you. Elisa Apostolica.